Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. As it what? As it is in heaven. As it what? As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Because the Lord's will is also in heaven. We're the realm where the Lord belongs, where the Lord stays, where he is sitting on his throne. Because the angels obey God. The angels listen to the Most High and follow every order that God gives. What makes us any different? Are we more than the angels? Are we above the angels that we don't that we're not supposed to do what the Lord said to do? Then how did we come to the conclusion that we were supposed to do what we wanted to do and not what Lord and not what God wanted? That's because of the Christian church. That's because of your pastors. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24. Because of Christianity and because of those pastors and because of the deacons, because of the evangelists. Because of those, uh, because of the mothers in that church and uh, and the first ladies and the first gentlemen, all right. Because of that is why we don't understand how to keep the laws of God, which is the will of God. You understand? We have to learn how to not do our own will. And I understand since the day that you are born, if you are Black, Hispanic, and Native American, since the day that you are born, you are taught to be yourself. You are taught to do what you want to do. You are, you are taught that you're supposed to have everything that you ever asked for and everything that you ever wanted. By the time you are one years old, no thanks to birthday parties and birthdays is why our kids grow up to be so damn selfish. Because of birthdays, because of the Christian church, our children grow up to be selfish and to do what they want to do and to do what they believe is right and to do what they think is right. Why? because we don't know how to do the Lord's will. And we continue to let that scripture out, and we continue to do our own. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse 24. And the Lord commanded us. You said what? And the Lord commanded us. Does anybody know what a command is? A command is an order. Throughout the Bible, the Lord talks about order. No thanks to Christianity. No thanks to them pastors. We don't know what order is. We don't know what a command looks like. You understand? I'll tell you why. Because we're so used to commanding ourselves. We're so used to being our own order. For the Lord said, And the Lord commanded us. The Lord commanded us. That us is a possessive pronoun. That's a pronoun. That's showing ownership. Us. That's, taught, that's referring to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Say what? To do all these statutes. Says what? To do all these statutes. Say some. To do all these statutes. Did it say a little bit? All these statutes. Did it just say ten of them? All these statutes. It says all these statutes. That's mean. That means what? Not eating pork. Not eating shrimp. Not eating lobster. You understand? Not smoking weed. Not getting high. Not smoking cigarettes. You understand? It says what? All these statutes. To fear the Lord our God. It said what? To fear the Lord our God. How many of us knew that it was a law in the Bible to fear the Most High? You will never obey God unless you fear God. Let me break it down to you. You would never listen to Daddy, and you would never, you would never listen to Mommy unless you fear Daddy or you fear Mommy. A lot of us grew up under Mommy, you understand? And some of us grew up under Daddy. And they both had belts in their hand. And that belt was to represent if you did not what I said, you was going to get hit. You was going to get whooped. And that's what the brother feared. Well, guess what? The Lord wants us to understand. Fear is the beginning of his understanding. Fear is knowing that when you eat pork, there are consequences that come with it. If you are a man that decides to lay down with another man, 
there are consequences to that behavior. If you are a woman, and thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, brother. You understand? Gang, also grab a flyer from the table right here. Go ahead and grab a flyer. If you are a woman that decides to lay down with another woman, there are consequences to that behavior. There are consequences to that type of conduct. And said what? And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God. Go ahead. For our good always. Said what? For our good always. Said what? For our good always. For our good always. Because this was something good. The law is good. The statutes and the commandments of God is good. I know you seen it to be evil. No thanks to them pastors. Eating so if I tell you to not eat pork, you look at me like I'm, I got four heads and four eyes and I must be some evil individual because I'm telling everybody you were never supposed to eat pork. You were never supposed to eat the lobster. You were never supposed to get tattoos. You were never supposed to get shakeups. You were never supposed to vote. All of this looks evil when I tell you. But the Lord said, for our good always. For this is going to be our good always. Go ahead. That he might preserve us alive. Said what? That he might preserve us alive. Said what? That he might preserve us alive. Because the Lord understood. And the Lord knows how to preserve, you understand? Does anybody know what it means to preserve? It means to keep alive. It means to keep in a certain state, to be healthy and to be alive. That's what it means to preserve. Well, if you keep the laws of God, if you decide, if you if you listen to the Most High, to not to, to keep like to keep His commandments, you will preserve your life. You will live longer on this earth. You will live a long life. You understand? I want everyone to understand, as a people, if you are so-called Black, Hispanic, or Native American, we are an extremely unhealthy people, man. We are unhealthy. Go ahead. Right. And what what the, what the brother said is totally right, man. It's about. The, the most high, God's laws preserves our life, man. I, I, I always see, I always see a young girl, and I always see a single mother, and I see a transition from our, from our woman from teenage years to adults in the, in the early 20s to the 30s, and how if she does not preserve her life, she destroys herself, man. If she does not get with her father, and her father help her pick the right man, she goes in a long life of being single. Being a single mother, so it don't have to be like that. And also with brothers. And also too, that mother needs a father to raise them boys. So black men, we gotta step up and raise our sons. And black women, you gotta know to let that man, let that father do his job. And you gotta know how to pick right. You only gonna learn how to pick right, black women, from your father, from your uncle, man. And moreover, to the ICBK, find a man of God to help you pick a man so you have a right family, man. That's what it's all about. Right. The black community, the black community is destroyed because our families are destroyed. Because you do not know how to pick a man. And black women, you black man, you don't know how to pick a woman. We gotta stop picking whores, man. And pick the right woman. You only gonna find that out through getting in the Bible, man. If, if we stop doing drugs, you look your age. Look how many people are young and do drugs and look old right. and are about to fall apart. Right. And how many how many young people in teenage years and early 20s died because of drugs? That is not preserving your life. That is the exact opposite. Same-sex marriage, you are not preserving your life. It's too many dangerous diseases to have same-sex marriage. And it's too many, it's too many, you are not preserving your life. If you're being loose and having sex with everybody, anything on everything, you are not preserving your life. Disease will come. You will get sick and you will slowly die or die right away. What this brother is bringing out is the truth. God laws will help us preserve our life. God has a diet. You can eat certain things. We gotta get rid we got we gotta get rid of this lie. Talk about okay. Stop. Let us do his prayers, man. We gotta get rid of this lie in the black community saying, oh, my grandfather had cancer, so I got cancer. And, my, and I had diabetes and my grandmother had diabetes. No, it don't run in our family. It's what we're, it is what we're eating, man. Follow God's laws and let's preserve our life, our physical, and more important, let's preserve our spiritual, man. Go ahead, brother. Give that piece of officer a powerful hand. That was real heavy what that brother was bringing out. It's absolutely important to preserve our lives if we are so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Continue reading, brother. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 24. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God. Verse 25. And that should be our righteousness. Say what? And it shall be our righteousness. It says the law should be our righteousness. Does anybody know what righteousness means? Because of Christianity, we don't know what it means to be righteous. Well, righteousness is a behavior that's acceptable by God. That's what righteousness is. Because it was absolutely imperative that we were supposed to behave ourselves and conduct ourselves that was acceptable to the Most High. And eating pork is not acceptable to the Most High. Eating shrimp and lobster is not acceptable to the Most High. Right. Selling drugs, smoking weed and getting high is not acceptable to the Most High. Getting tattoos and shape-ups is not acceptable to the Most High. Unalloving your brother for whatever unreasonable reason it is, is not a behavior that's acceptable to the Most High. The Lord is about behavior. The Lord is about conduct. That's and there right. is a proper conduct that we're supposed to live by. There's a proper behavior that we're supposed to live by. Right. And the Lord said it's the law. And the law is our righteousness. Right. Verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. That we do what? All these commandments. That we do all these commandments. That's what our righteousness is. That's our behavior. That's our conduct. Right. Not eating pork is a conduct. Right. Not eating shrimp and lobster is a behavior. Not unaliving your brother is a behavior. Right. A man being having relations with a man is a behavior that's not acceptable by God. A woman having relations with another woman is a behavior not acceptable by God. Voting for Democrats and Republicans is not a behavior that's acceptable by God. And that's something we have to understand. And you can only learn this right here in the Israelite schools of universal practical knowledge under Commander Journey Ahana. All right? And with that being said, you understand, with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commander Journey Ahana. And we're not affiliated with any other Israelite group or any other Christian organization. Shalom, Israel. That's right. Yeah, Babylon is falling